Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be setting up or at least trying to set up a new toy. It's the Sprocket. Um, it's a smartphone printer and prints two, um, it says two times three inch photos, so little diddy ones. Now the idea being we're about to go on a trip and I thought about getting one of these mini printers last year and I never did. But the idea being I want to document while I'm away. I always keep a journal anyway and I write up the report when we get back. But this time I've actually bought a traveller's notebook. It's plain pages inside and it's got two quite large notebooks. They're quite chunky with thin papers. Now I had thought about painting them and just adding inks and things like that so they were really colourful for me to journal on. But to be honest, they're really thin. Um, so I don't know if that's such a good idea. So now I've decided, oh, and there's little pockets in the back. So now I've decided I'm going to try and set up this printer, document while I'm away, add the photos, add one photo a day, and just try and get more creative maybe with doodling and that kind of thing. So rather than really colourful, I'm going to really concentrate on the actual journaling itself by adding a photo as well and doing a little bit of doodling. So we'll see how that works. I just want a really nice keepsake uh, for when I get back. Like I said, I always keep a notepad with me anyway and I do almost keep a diary, I guess, every day of everything we do. So this way it's just a prettier way of doing it in some ways. Now I am really bad with technology. Thankfully my husband works in IT, so he's my IT support. We both work from home which works out ideal for my business because I feel I have an in-house IT guy. So that's very good. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to try and set this up myself. I tend to just leave everything to aid and I then learn in baby steps from him. Um, I can't read instructions, I can't take it in, um, he shows me something. It does not work. It really is a case of me learning a tiny stage um, at a time like editing YouTube videos that has taken me so long. Um, so I thought if I can set this up, anyone can. So let's give it a go. I bought mine from John Lewis. Um, it was £109. I did love the white with rose gold, but I think it was an extra £20 or £30. And as much as it was pretty, um, my practical side kicked in and I decided that I would save the money and go for the black. So it's really tiny, as you can see. Now, it comes with teeny tiny photo paper. I have bought two additional packs. These were 9 99 for 20 sheets. So they're not the cheapest of things. But like I said, I'm keeping it for whilst I'm away. Um, I need to have a look at the instructions, which, like I said, I'm really not great at. It's got this little thing with it. Um, I did read in the reviews that the instructions weren't great. And this is just um, a model. I, oh, it's the warranty. So no real instructions it tells me on the back what it features which is oh it says photographs from your phone in seconds includes 10 sheets of paper which we know um you can download the free hp sprocket app um and you can add fun borders emojis and scan printed photos from that easily print your favorite social media photos so that's all it says on the box okay so I've gone ahead and downloaded the free app. Do make sure before you go ahead and purchase one that it's compatible with your phone. It does list on there um, the types of phones that it's compatible with. Now it's telling me to load the paper. Um, I have no idea how to do that. It shows like a flicky uppy bit. I don't want to break the sprocket or break a nail. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna have to ask for help already. Oh, maybe I need to charge it as well, actually. Why are things never straightforward? I think I need to charge it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Instructions would be helpful. Right, I'm going to go and stick this on charge and see if anything happens. So I've made a little bit of progress. Um, Hubby's given me a battery to plug it into. Um, and he also managed to open it. It was a case of sliding down. So we've got it open. And there's also a button on the side to press. 
and now the lights are on so it's charging um so i have to it says press and hold the power button until the led turns white so i'm guessing that's not charged at the moment which is why it must be red so i'm going to try and load the paper in anyway so let's take this out so this is the teeny pack of paper there's a barcode on the back and it says must load facing down and it shows a picture of the barcode coming down so I'm going to place it with the barcode at the very bottom. Ah, there's a picture there which shows as well. And then I can put the top back on again. Now, um, I've sped ahead even though it's not charged yet. Um, it says make sure your Bluetooth is active and device is powered on. Connect printer. Select an accessory. I think I need to wait for it to charge. So I confess I've had help again. Um, I've been sat here um, waiting patiently for the device to charge. I made a greetings card, um, which is now drying. Um, and my husband's just come in, he's bought me a coffee and he's had a look and I wasn't holding the button down. So it's not a case of pressing the button till the white light comes on or even pressing it, you hold it down until the white light comes on like that. And now I can connect to my printer. It says HP Sprocket, which I've just pressed. Printer connected, I click done. Enable the full Sprocket experience, that sounds exciting. Uh, follow the Sprocket app access for basic and advanced take photos photo gallery I'm just going to go with my photo gallery you can do so oh let's go so, um, I've had to click that it can allow me to access my camera and my photos it's given me an option to upgrade um, I'll press upgrade I don't know why what's happening sending firmware upgrade to sprocket printer so I have no idea what that was updating, but it's done it anyway. It's now I've got the option to capture and scan or look through my photos. So I've decided I'm going to print one, the first one to get me started. So I might try and find a printer of the four of us um, before we obviously head off on this trip. The other thing is I do tend to print or take a photo mostly of squares because I use, um, I like the square sh um, size, the shape for documenting but also for Instagram. So I'm going to have to be very aware that I start actually taking sort of like normal full length photos. So I'm going to go through and find a photo that I would like to try and print. I've actually got one that's full size and this was taken just um, last week when we went to watch Jurassic World which I feel is quite appropriate because obviously we're heading to Universal as well during the stay and we love Jurassic Park so I'm going to try and print this one um, it says edit I don't know what oh so you have the option of frames and things like that okay I might just try and do oh so like I've added a rainbow not that I want a rainbow but um, I'm just having a little look oh so you can add there's emojis to add it's quite straightforward um, I don't really want to add anything I'm just having a look uh, there's so you can size it different there um, okay well that one's quite nice that very first one brightens it a little bit um, I will leave that one I like that there's three things at the bottom there I don't know what they are I'm going to click one. What's this one? Right. Print cube. Sprocket printer not connected. I'm going to hold the button down again and let it turn white. Go back again. Uh, connected. But I'm still in a print. Oh, hold on. There's a print button at the top there. So let's print that now. Keep the Sprocket app open while printing. It's saying sending. And the little sprocket is making a noise. Aid really like oh, it's doing some. Oh, the blue is coming out at the moment. Aid really likes it because it reminds him of Sprocket from Fraggle Rock. Right, so the blue's coming out first. I'm so intrigued. I don't know quite what to expect. The quality, um, whether it will cover the whole paper or anything. So my daughter's just bought um, a Polaroid, one of the new Instax ones. 
So she's taking that away with her. Right, it's making another noise now. But I just don't want to carry that round with me all day. Um, and also I don't want to, um, I want to make sure I'm happy with the photo before I print it. Um, cause her camera's quite bulky. And obviously once you've printed it, you've printed it and the paper's quite expensive. Oh, this is printing really quite quickly. There we go, my first one is printed. I'm actually really impressed with that. Um, I changed the, um, I'll let you see both. I brightened it up and I actually, for that type of, obviously it's not going to be as perfect as my own that I print, but for this kind of thing, I had to put in my adventure book and I'll use that on my first page. And I think that will look really cute down there. So I did need a teeny weeny bit of help, but I think I would have got there in the end. But actually it's really easy and I think that's so portable. Um, that's gonna be really easy for me to take away. And I'm really going to try and print one photo a day and document a day. I've never scrapbooked when I'm away. I've taken bits and pieces and I've never got around to do it. This is super fast. And I think being able to actually print whilst I'm away is really going to help. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me try and set up this little sprocket, it's so cute. Um, let me know if you've got one. I would love to know, do you print on the go? Do you have a Polaroid printer? Do you, when you go away, do you scrapbook at all? Do you journal? Tell me what you do. How do you document your trips? I want to know it all. Please tell me, leave a comment below. Um, please subscribe if you don't already. I love to document, I love to scrapbook, create, and I love to travel. So creating on the go, I'm really excited about trying this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.